Welcome to this lesson on fractional exponents. First, let's go over a couple of definitions. Fractional exponents are going to be dealing with radical expressions, and a radical expression is any expression with a radical symbol, which looks like this. And we know that inside a radical symbol, that number is called the radicand. And normally we just see just a normal radical symbol with something inside. And we know that means the square root. Well, there's actually an understood little two here that we don't normally write, but that's where the square root comes from. We wanna see what multiplied by itself will give us that eight. But you can actually have any number here. That's called the root and it can be changed. It doesn't just have to be a square root. This would be a cubed root. So a fractional exponent is a special type of exponent that's an alternate way to notate a radical expression. All right, so let's look at the rule here. So this is the fractional exponents rule. And the rule says, if I have a to the 2 thirds power, I can rewrite that as the third root of a squared. So here's my root and then I just have an exponent in the radicand. So another example, a three to the three fourths power, I can rewrite that as the fourth root of three cubed. Now you can actually work that out, but for now, let's just practice going back and forth between those two forms. So the first example convert to radical form. So x to the 1 half power, that's the square root of x to the first power. Now you can also just write this as the square root of x because x to the first power is x. And a radical with no number is understood to be a square root. So either way is fine. All right, number two, the fourth root of 3 to the fifth power. So this is going to be three to the five over four power. So remember the root goes in the denominator, the exponent is the numerator. All right, the next one, five to the three halves power. So the denominator is your root, square root of five to the third power. All right, I'll do a few more with you. So the eighth root of y squared, that's the same thing as y to the two over eight power. Now, yes, you can simplify that, but right now let's just practice going back and forth. Number five, y to the seven six power. So this is my root, this is my exponent. All right, and then number six, convert to exponential form. Now, this one doesn't have a root, so it's understood to be two, and it doesn't have an exponent, so it's understood to be one. So the square root of two, I can write two to the one half power. All right, pause the video and try seven, eight, and nine by yourself. All right, so this is what you should have gotten. You could also write this as just eight. Eight to the first power is eight. This is x to the two over two, which yes, is just x if you wanna simplify it. And then this would be the cubed root of x to the ninth. All right, you can stop the video now and complete your practice.